Hello everyone, my name is Avni Bhatt and this is the finally blog. This is a blog that always executes. This is a super short video covering what is Microsoft Agent Framework and the background on why it came into picture. If you have never used Semantic Kernel or Autogen before and if you are overwhelmed looking at the GitHub repos or fancy buzzword floating around, this video will give you the clarity you need. Let's dive in. Before this framework was formalized, there were two separate pieces, Semantic Kernel and Autogen. Semantic Kernel is a lightweight SDK that helps you to integrate large language model with your existing code and application. You would use Semantic Kernel when you need to connect AI to your existing system, like adding a chatbot to your e-commerce site that can check inventory, process order, and answer customer questions by connecting to your database and API. It shines at plugin architecture, prompt templating, memory, and context. On the other hand, Autogen is a framework for building multi-agent system where multiple AI agents can collaborate and communicate with each other to solve complex tasks. You would use Autogen when you need multiple specialized agents working together. For example, building a research assistant where one agent searches the web and other analyzes the data and third writes a summary report. It helps with multi-agent conversation, code execution, and human in the loop tasks. Now here is the challenge developer faced. Using both of them together was complicated. Imagine you have to deploy a customer support system where multiple AI agents needs to collaborate to resolve tickets and those agents also need to connect to your CRM. You would need Autogen for multi-agent orchestration and Semantic Kernel for integrations. But getting them to work together means managing two separate libraries, dealing with different configuration approaches, handling compatibility issues between versions, and writing a custom glue code just to make them communicate. It was time consuming and error prone. That's where Microsoft Agent Framework comes in. Recognizing these challenges, Microsoft team decided to bring both Semantic Kernel and Autogen together under a unified interface. You get the best of both worlds, multi-agent collaboration and seamless integration all in one place with a consistent API and better developer experience. And today, Microsoft Agent Framework is truly enterprise ready with enterprise grade observability, open API support for seamless integration, MCP support, as well as production ready deployment to Azure AI Foundry. So that's Microsoft Agent Framework in a nutshell. If you are interested in building apps using Agent Framework, I have prepared a beginner's guide that will guide you through how to set up your development environment and a simple script that calls LLM with a query. Check out the link in description.